Yo, 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 what's going on, man? It's your boy Rick Taylor back with another episode of that Rick Taylor podcast. And you already know what today, man, is. Today is a special day, man. Freestyle Friday, man. Y'all know how this day works, man. Some of the best artists come up here and bring them bars. And you know what I'm saying? We let some of y'all favorite artists come up here and talk about their life a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And um, today I'm here with, a, you know what I'm saying, somebody that's been putting the work for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Milwaukee native. Moved out to Vegas. Still doing his thing. Repping for the team. My boy, producer and rapper, Mike Regal, man. What's going on with you, my boy? What's going on, Rick, man? It's a pleasure to be back with you, man. I see you making moves. Yeah. Building a platform. Everybody coming in here burning this shit down. I'm yeah. like, man, let me... Let me get a turn up here. Yeah, man. man. You know, let me see what's going on. Yeah, it was you started because right. we did that interview uh, a couple summers ago. It was crazy. You started them right after I left. Too. I was yeah. like, damn. Doing and I was talking to you about that. I was like, damn. I'm like, I remember I hit you like, man, you got to come. When you come back, you got to do one of these freestyles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, bro. And I've been watching all of them every time they drop. I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. Mm-hmm, yeah. Man, I'm just appreciative of people coming up here and bringing the bars and rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, we <laughs> needed something like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> We Every do. city got their thing. And I think, like, you know what I'm saying, as Milwaukee, we need this. You know, we got a lot of platforms out here that's, that's starting to, like, you know, be on the rise. And I wanted to have that platform and, like, bring out that artistic vibe and people are like, you know, the flow and, uh, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying, whatever you rap, sing, or do poetry, whatever you do, this the platform for you. And, you know, um, but before we start, you know, before you give them the bars and all that, man, um, let the people know more about you and, like, who you is and what you do. Uh, Yeah, you know, I'm Mike Regal, producer and artist from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Like my boy Rick said, I've been Mm -hmm. living in Vegas for about the last, it'll be eight years. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Congrats. That'd be crazy. Yeah, but but about eight years, man, just doing this music and just came up in these same streets as everybody else here, man. You know what I'm saying? In the 06, man. You know what I'm saying? And just taking all that inspiration and really just making my story what it is and telling it to the world and just doing it through sound and doing it through word and Mm -hmm. any kind of creative way I can, man. When I'm out there, you know what I'm saying, I'm putting on the foe constantly. You know what I'm saying? I'll never forget where I'm from and I know that's what made me. Right, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, like I said, congratulations, bro, because, like, you know what I'm saying, first and foremost, you know, just to move out to a hometown is hard already. You know what I'm saying? And you've been down there for eight years doing your thing, just being locked in and just still repping the four, you know, the foe. Um, How that Vegas life been for you? It's been good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, just getting used to it. The scene is a lot different. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of talent out there, but it's a lot of, you know, eclectic talent. Like, with they shows out there, you know, here we more focus on, like, it's either one or the other. You either rap or you got, like, a real bouncy type of street style or something like that. There, they be having shows where, you know, artists is rapping. They got dancing and dance teams and all that. So it was something I kind of had to sit back and look at, like, okay, it's a real big, entertainment right. aspect here right. you know what i'm saying so that really helped me with building the whole entertainment factor of it and not just really focusing on trying to be like the best rapper just trying to be like the most electrifying you know what right. i'm saying like it just put me in that mode to just focus on that you know yeah, what i'm saying man. and you know your style of music and also producing bro it's just like it's all around bro like it's, it's just it's, it's dope you know what i'm saying like you got your own sound your own style what what inspired your style, man? Man, uh, what's crazy is I was just riding here and looking at uh, the bus stop I used to stand on for the 19. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Thinking about on days when I was just listening to my little MP3. I had a little Kobe MP3 <laughs> player yeah. back then and shit. But just <laughs> listening to shit on there, I was putting old shit that I wanted to sample on there. And I used to just listen to it all the time. And I was just thinking about that. Like, man, days are just like really plotting on being able to just do this music when I didn't have a computer, when I mm-hmm. didn't have a, you know what I'm saying, studio to go to consistently like that and all that. It was just all I wanted to do. Right. And just like the city really made me just like be humble, but then also be hungry at the same time. Cause ain't none of us really got nothing here. So it's like, we all scraping and surviving, but we still, you know, bringing it together to right. bring that, make that sound and make that big, that big feeling that I feel like we can bring to the world that could change the game. Facts, you know what I'm We got a feel here, for real. Facts, we definitely do, man. Like, all it takes is to, you know, keep applying that pressure and stay consistent and keep putting that work in, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And having yeah. a good team behind you, like the, the team you got behind you right now, man, you know what I'm saying? Some dope artists. Got some of my you real know? ones in the yeah. building with me, man. Everybody here I done know for years, I've been building music with, man. You already know, got Bull back here, got Duke. 
Duke day one, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my first performance right there. My little bro, yeah. Cheese. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Yeah. Just keep watching for Cheese, man. Right. And coming. Speaking of all the artists you just named and stuff like that, dope artists, by the way. And there's even other artists, you know what I'm saying? He moved from Milwaukee as well. He used to be with a lot. Reggie Bonds, man. How's your relationship with Reggie Bonds still? You man, still talk to him and stuff? Absolutely, man. We uh, He got something coming out real soon. Me and him was going back and forth maybe about a month ago. Just mm -hmm. every day for about two weeks. That's kind of how we work. So we'll just be on the phone every day, two, three-hour conversations, chopping it up. Next thing you know, I'm sending him like three, four ideas. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, now he producing so it'll be different. He'll be like, yo, Mike, what you think of this sample? He'll send me the sample. I'll be like, I like this part. I might chop it. You know, it's just we've been really working on like a that's dope. artist and producer type of level. We got some real good shit coming soon, man. Man, that's dope to hear, man. Shout mm -hmm. out to Reggie Bonds, man. Y'all yeah. y'all was like Shaq and Kobe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I should be watching y'all like doing y'all shit, man. And that's exactly what we was talking about, man. We was like, yeah, we just got to, you know, rekindle that flame that we had there, bring it back. Yeah. And, man, we just... We locked in like we ain't not recorded in a long time because, you know, he just was really producing his own stuff these last couple projects. So and then even when he worked with Eleven, uh, the homie Brandon, it was mainly a co-production thing. They was doing everything together. Like, you know, what I'm saying he didn't really know how to program at that time yet. So Brandon kind of, you know, put the ideas for him in the machines right. and shit like that. So. Man, that's dope, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Mm, yeah, doing man. your thing still, man. It's beautiful to see, man. Now, what you got coming? Oh, man. I got a couple projects, man. I've really been focused more on, um, I still do a lot of solo stuff, but I've been focused on, like, collaborative projects mm -hmm. lately. And um, I got one coming with the homie A.R. Wesley, me and him locking in, yeah. dropping some shit, man. We've been uh, long overdue with it, man. We've yeah. been talking about it for years. Me and little bro Cheese back here, man. We've been sending flame back and forth. Y'all might get something from us real soon. Yes, sir. Me and Bull plotting, brainstorming on some shit. Duke just hit me about <laughs> recently coming back. Man, we and him started a project. What was that, 2013? No, no, no. It was way sooner than that. 2011. Yeah, 2012, 2011. Yeah. And the idea is still flawless. You know what I mean? So it's like we just been working, man. I just been really in a collaborative man. state and just like kind of wanting to, you know, tag team with some different mindsets and see what I come up with, even rapping on other beats because the homie Cheese knows so many dope producers, man. He's been bringing some shit to me, cats from Canada, all over the place. And I'm like, yo, this is oh, crazy. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, so, like, man, it's, I'm excited about a lot of stuff I got coming yeah, out. Yes. I bet, man. It's like you got a lot of new things coming out, you know what I'm <laughs> saying, different uh, adventures and stuff going on, different producers, and just working with different people, man. It's dope mm -hmm. that you got a solid, you know, family like you know what i'm saying I, I don't like to always call it team i like to call it family for real because a lot of people be day ones and it's hard to find them type of people you you're know right what I'm about saying? that you're right it's about hard, that you know it's just good to see you still rocking and doing your thing man keep holding it down yeah man i've just been you know taking my time with it you know just really trying to perfect it and elevate the sound every time i do something so i take my time with it i don't really try to oversaturate the market too much right even <laughs> though you know nowadays that work but you know, it'll be worth the wait, a lot of it. Yep. Now, I got one more question before we get to them bars. And All this good. this going to go right into it. Uh, who your top five mm. MCs? Got to ask that question before we get yeah, to the bars. Yeah, yeah, we got to. Got to. <laughs> um, Chorus Jigga, Hove. Mm -hmm. um, man, a lot of people might be shocked by this. It's, it's personal, yeah, though. Yeah, it's, it's but, yours. Um, um, say Larry June. Okay, yeah. it's been recent, but it's I've been rocking with Larry since about 2018, yeah. and I went to one of his shows out in Vegas. Uh, somebody I cop tree from out there was his, you know, his supplier. Before. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, he put me on to him one day. I got in his car. He was playing. I'm like, who's this? And he's like, it's Larry June. I went out to his show, man. Thirty people in there. The ceiling wasn't even high enough for me to put my hands all the way up. It was right. crazy. And then look at where he at now. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and just the consistency. I like 90% of his music. So I just had to come to grips. Like, yo, Larry, one of my favorites ever. Right, man, so. stay down. But um, so we got Jigga, we got Larry. Mm -hmm. Um, yay for show. Mm. Um, yeah. recently a person that kind of crept up in it just because of a, a all around standpoint that mm -hmm. I really had to come to grips with was Snoop. 
Mm, yes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like <laughs> you hear that room? <laughs> Snoop. Like mm. just how big his brand is, Man. and just like the consistency and. Just how good Doggy Style and Dog Father is as albums, man. Like that's a whole conversation for another uh, time. Cause Dog was just so cold. And he how he changed the game too. So. Then you got Rhythm and Gangster. Then you got the Blue Carpet Treatment. Then mm-hmm. you got the Last Meal. Like he mm-hmm. got some nice. Shit. Then it's then it's No yeah. Limit album. Like yeah. he got some man. All while stand all while stand Snoop Dogg. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then number five, it had to be Pac, man. Let me go. Had to be Pac. That's a good five, man. Yeah, that's a good five, man. And it's, you know, what I'm saying, I, like I said, I like the fact that with hip hop, we can just take, you know, we we can be inspired and be students and study and form our own style from all these different people. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. put in our music and get the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? That's what's so dope about it. You know what I'm saying? Art is imitation of life, man. Yeah. So it's like. That's why the best shit always the shit we could feel in here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It hits you. You could mm-hmm. just be like, yo, that's me. <laughs> yep. That's how yeah. I go, man. Art imitates life. But, man, without further ado, man, y'all know what we here for, man. My boy came to bring them bars, you know, and I ain't going to do too much talking. Hey, you hey, know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, you yeah, ready yeah. for them, Mike? I'm ready for them, man. I hope they ready for me, man. Hey. You know I ain't never done nothing like this. Yeah. Had to come through and bless the microphone for the homie hey. Rick, man. It's only right. It's only right, man. Without further ado, man, let's get it, man. My boy, Mike Rico, talk to him. California love. Uh, yeah. Uh. Let me take it to a whole nother mode on him real quick one time, man. Fuck your shit. Hey. Rick Taylor podcast. Hey. Yeah. This what they play before I step in the ring To keep my pockets out of sling Me and my niggas with sling See these clothes and hit the interstate for the pain Got the wolf pack with me but my name ain't Sting Now my name not Jerry but they name me King Got a team full of champions, we don't need rings Grass twisted in the wood, then I blow it like the wind do Mace Windu, I'm out this world with a pencil mm. Recipe whipping, my mental is a utensil Show them all in due time, I sign on this vengeful Scheme so suspenseful, the best period on the pad Without the minstrel, damn, that's why you son them all? Huh. With these flows, man, I done them all Grooves from my tune, fill a room, make the moon revolve Sunstones on my neck, Michael to evolve Trust me, nigga, you don't never wanna get involved We got a whole lot of drive, we ain't getting stalled Still shitting on these niggas like I'm in the stall mm. Catch me on the rebound, nigga, bang a ball I welcome you into my world, let the words tour Keep it a hundred, if I said it, I did it before Car seats full of receipts, pockets like a morgue Shit, what you trying to get into, dog? You won't believe the kind of shit I've been through, dog. I gotta go and get it, I want so much more Where I'm from, they put dots on you like Hindus, dog. Wait, grew up a Talk block off shit. the zoo city like Jumanji Took a leap and left it all, ain't worry about a bungee Mama always complaining, my green was too pungent Niggas always complaining, my time costs money oh, yeah. Fuck em. I see you heckling from the sideline yeah. Throwing the towel clown, you ain't getting playing time Think twice, nigga, for you try playing mine I'm dropping bars on these niggas like I'm giving time Sheesh, speaking the time, mind infinite Words live forever like they biblical These niggas sound despicable My shit sick highs and not hospitable Grab a check, then I jet like spitter do My list of goals getting checked Now what's next to do? Stop while you ahead, that's what's best for you Nigga